Well, I'm Barb Lynn, and I'm visiting from the mountains of Colorado. I've always made these little sachets. I go to Wyoming in, near the Bighorn Mountains, near where um, Jim Forbes did Rancho 2. I guess it's called Wild Harvesting Silver Sage at a ranch that's right against the mountains. Two or three of us will go out there and just harvest the sage at, at the right time, bundle it up, and then I take it home, I hang it out and dry it on these wooden racks. And then after a week or two, I put it in glass jars and just save it. And it lasts a long time. I also add to it lavender, which is grown on a lavender farm in Western Colorado. And then I have a certain combination, I blend the two together. I've been making these for a while for some guest ranches in the area. As I was doing the samples, I was like, the Piri yarn for sure could be the fabric. I keep one in my knitting bag, in my car. You could use it to put in between your sweaters. It gives off a nice scent. And I've found some I've had for three or four years, you know, you just knead them up a little bit and they give off their aroma again. And so it's a nice way to combine all those, all those parts and have a small gift for yourself or for others. <laughs> What makes the, this particular sachet extra special is that beginning with the breed-specific wools, which are generally from the Mountain West, which is the same place I gather the sage from. I love the continuity there. And then I add the lavender. Then I've hand-woven fabric to go on the outside with some nice unbleached linen. It has some fringe so you can get the essence of the wools that we've used, and you'll know that from start to finish in my loom room, it all comes together. You can feel that in, in the end product. You'll feel very nurtured by that whole process.